Hey, what's up guys, it's Destry, and welcome back to What The Fuck News. Now with quadruple the jump cuts. But this is What The Fuck News, where we talk about the weird side of the news that you might have missed in the last couple weeks. Oh god, that is awful. What is this, 2007, Destry? Now lose some weight and then get about 10 times more depressed than it will be. And look, I know it's been a while. How you been? How's the kids? And I know you're probably looking forward to some weird, lighthearted story to be like, oh, <laughs> how delightful. But it's kind of hard to find stories like that when the entire world is losing its fucking mind. Out of all the years doing the show, I don't think I've ever confidently said those words until right now. Cause seriously, what the fuck? I mean, even I feel like I'm going insane. I was so bored the other week, I made an entire album out of cover songs in the voice of Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. And I'm proud to be an American, or at least I knew free Adam. What is love? Precious, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Precious. What can make me feel that way? The precious, precious. Talking about the precious. What is wrong with you? I don't know, a lot. But before we get into it guys, a huge thanks to my favorite sponsor, Adam and Eve. So as I'm sure you're by now aware, Adam and Eve is a sex toy company that provides the best in quality toys, movies, lingerie, as well as lubes and oils for both men and women to tickle any fancy or crevasse you could possibly imagine. <laughs> And in addition to being the best in the business for their quality and dependability, they're definitely my favorite sponsor just because they're a pleasure to work with. Stop. Okay. Especially with what has become one of my favorite segments on my channel, showing off things that'll get me into monetized. Let's do it. Oh, what? Paper? <laughs> way too excited. <laughs> that's, that's not the real thing. Okay. All right, first there is the Adam and Eve's massageable, no, that's not right. Adam and Eve's rechargeable magic massager. All right, let's see how this thing, holy fuck. Is it supposed to feel good? Can you guys even hear me over this thing? <laughs> ah, I feel like it's like the reverse Flash's hand. It's just gonna go through me. <laughs> We also got the uh, collar, cuffs, and leash set with this mildly creepy man on the front. You smell different when you're awake. And finally, the Mapali, Mapali, Mapali? It's probably how you say it. Naughty nurse lingerie. Wow, thanks Adam and Eve, because I totally have someone to show this off for you guys. So what are you? <laughs> That's right, Adam and Eve, you thought I wouldn't do it. What are you waiting for? Make sure to go to adamandeve.com, use code SMITH for 50% off and free shipping in the US and Canada. Not gonna lie, I do be kinda thick though. Ah, so yeah, as I said earlier, uh, the entire world has gone to shit, as I'm sure you know. Like, things have been so insane lately that there's been like mainstream news that I've had to look up to make sure it was fucking real. First, I don't know if you saw a couple weeks ago when demon sperm and alien DNA were trending on Twitter, but that was a real thing. I had to research. Yeah, imagine googling demon sperm and trying to explain why that's in my search history. I gotta say, was not expecting to see that. Out of all of the things that happened this year, somehow was not expecting that. <laughs> but yes, as it turns out, the terms were trending as a result of a bizarre interview with a medical practitioner named Stella Emanuel, who believes, quote, most gynecological problems are caused by having sex with witches and demons in your dreams. What? As well as her other belief that the country is run by people that aren't even human and are instead half reptilian spirit, half ET. I'm pretty sure she's describing a slea stack from Land of the Lost, but okay, okay. And that's not even the worst of just the batshit insane things that she said. Before those things, I'm just gonna have her tell you about them herself. Stella? You always end up being hooked up with witches and wizards. And witches and wizards are always following you. The witches in your office are rising! They've taken your money and giving it to the warlock called Jay-Z. Yeah, what the hell, guys? Stop giving known warlock Jay-Z your money. <laughs> I'm just imagining Jay-Z in a World of Warcraft warlock outfit. <laughs> Let's see what else she says. I know you people want to talk about mask. Hello? You don't need mask. There is a cure. Ow! We don't need those things. Get out of here, man. And for those of you wondering what she's talking about when she says we already have the cure to coronavirus, she's referring to lupus medication and Donald Trump word of the week winner, hydroxychloroquine. I'm taking it, hydroxychloroquine. Which Stella believes is not only the cure to coronavirus, but also astral plane demon sex and probably any other medical ailment you can imagine. But Stella, who in addition to being a doctor, is also a religious minister who was recently put into the public spotlight following Donald Trump's endorsement of 
some of her beliefs. After current White House advisor, the coronavirus Dr. Anthony Fauci, disappointed Trump after some of his views didn't align with his own. Good to know that the president of the country I live in trusts the word of a lady who believes that witches created the Illuminati to destroy the world with abortion and homosexual terrorism. What the fuck is homosexual terrorism? Sounds fabulous, I'm not gonna lie. No, but yeah, it's great that he trusts that over someone who, you know, has been the director of infectious diseases since 1984 and has advised seven other presidents. No, that's good, I feel safe. This is fine. I mean, why should the president care about the safety and security of millions of people? The guy's having a hard enough time trying to get his wife to hold his hand right now. Can we lay off of him? And concerning Stella Emanuel, yes, there are a ton of people right now saying, what the fuck? How is this woman even allowed to speak about medical science? But the person saying these things is not me. I don't want to be the person that calls her insane in the very slim chance that she's right about everything and I just look like an idiot. I mean, come on. You gotta sit there and tell me you're 100% sure that most gynecological problems are not caused by demon sex in your dreams? Mm hmm? That's right. Did, did, didn't think so. Oh, uh, also there's the news that Kanye West is running for president. Yep, so that that's a thing. I mean, if he can run a country as well as he can make a song that says whoopity scoop poop in it, he's got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good reason to vote for anyone. But yes, in a series of tweets, Kanye confirmed that he plans to run in the 2020 presidential election as neither Republican or Democrat, but as an independent party he is named the Birthday Party because, quote, when we win, it's everybody's birthday. Wow, that is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. At his first ever presidential campaign rally, he covered a wide range of topics, including some policy changes he hopes to enact that he's very passionate about, such as everyone that has a baby gets a million dollars or something like that. Wow, truly inspirational. Hey, weird question, uh, does anyone want to have a baby? Time to dust off them ovaries. Let's just go nuts, you know? Uh, even more exciting news, Kanye has gone on to say that he's using the fictional Marvel city of Wakanda as the framework for his administration. When asked about his views on coronavirus and possible cures, Kanye said, We pray. We pray for the freedom. It's all about God. We need to stop doing things that make God mad. That is the most generic fucking answer. <laughs> of all time. God damn it. How can you even debate Kanye when all of his views make no sense? Jesus Christ, just imagine a Joe Biden versus Kanye West debate. All right, Kanye, when asked about gun control, you said, I ain't about all that. God controls me and I control the gun. What we need to talk about is God control. Yee yee, big pussy energy. Now, Joe, your response? Now, that's an interesting question, Terrence. Can I call you Terry? No, my name is Michael. Perfect, Tarble. Now listen, egg salad is a hard thing to make. You can't just go bashing in there with your wind chimes. You just gotta sit back, ride the waves of premature hibernation, but remember not to wake before you hear the dryer sheets. What? Why are you applauding? That made no sense. Nah, he's got a point. Damn. Hey, where are you going? Let me smell your hair. God, what is this fucking year, dude? Of the people that are evidently not voting for Kanye is his own wife, Kim Kardashian West, who said in an interview that Kanye has a long history with bipolar disorder and that nothing he says should be taken seriously. <laughs> Look at this guy. Doesn't even have the support of his own wife. Am I right, Donald? What a loser. And despite the lengths that Kanye has taken to convince people that this is in fact real, many people believe that it's just an attention grab for a new album or something of that nature and shouldn't be taken seriously. And to anyone who thought that, turns out you're right. As in an interview with Forbes magazine, Kanye practically admitted that his campaign was mainly intended to siphon votes from Joe Biden and make Trump's victory more certain. Which almost sucks, you know? I was almost excited about the idea of having a rapist as a president. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've had that before. Oh, you said rapist. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. But nope. Buckle in, America. We got four more years of this. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And if not that, how about four more years of this? And I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn. Uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. All men and women created by the, go, you know the, you know the thing. 1.2 billion. So you go ahead and you stack spaghetti sauce at a store in, 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 in a supermarket. You control the guy or the woman who runs the, run, run brings out the carts on, 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 on a forklift. Wow, can't wait. On to the next story, just when you thought the world couldn't get any worse. When everything shut down and people were faced with their incredible boredom, she rose from the shadows. 
Karen. As a ton of pissed off, mostly middle-aged women have been increasingly prevalent since the coronavirus pandemic, and especially since the recent enforcement of a lot of companies' mask policies, which surprisingly a lot of people have a problem with. And at this point, there's honestly hours of people recording things like this throughout the internet, so there's no way I can show you all of them, but just to show a few. There was a woman at Trader Joe's screaming at the employees, telling her to wear a mask. <laughs> Oh my god. You know who else had a breathing problem? Darth Vader, and he's still wearing a mask. You know you're stupid when even Cobra Commander is wearing a mask to protect himself, and you're not. I'm doing my part. There's the lady throwing her groceries all over the floor because she was told to wear a mask. Pretty suitable reaction, I think. And I think out of all the things that a Karen will say, I always love hearing, I'm never gonna come back here again. It's like, oh no! Oh, please come back. Whatever will we do without your business? It's either that or I have a medical condition. I have a medical condition that I'm not allowed to wear a mask. No, I have a health condition, I can't wear one. I'm not wearing a mask. I have health issues. It's like they think saying those words are magical and once they utter the phrase, the entire universe just bends to their will. Sorry to disappoint you. Shop owner. Huh? You triggered my trap card! I have a medical condition. I have a medical condition! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Here's a million dollars. Please go ahead and also have sex with my wife while you're at it. That's more like it! Uh, another great one, there was a lady at Costco who decided that she'd rather sit on the floor than wear a mask. You know what? No, that I am not a member of Costco. Good evening, Costco shoppers. If anyone is missing their 130-year-old bigoted grandma, uh, you can pick her up from the floor of customer service at your earliest possible convenience. Thank you. I mean, seriously, the employee was being incredibly reasonable the whole time. She even gave you an out. No, you had to clear her like, if the lady really wanted to not wear a mask for whatever reason, all she had to do was make up some fucking medical excuse and it would have been fine. Uh, ma'am, do you have a medical ID card or anything to prove your disability? Yes, I believe that's right here. Ma'am, this isn't a medical ID card. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh card Slifer the Sky Dragon. Oh my god, she's an Egyptian god card, guys. Let her through. That's right, bitch. One of the worst videos I've seen is a group of four Karens that instead of wearing masks, decided in unison to drop their underwear and put it on their face in the middle of a grocery store. <coughs> oh god. It's not even the most upsetting that they did it, it's that they planned it. Like, hey Susan, what are you doing today? You wanna go put our nasty pussy underwear on our faces in the middle of a grocery store to protest masks? Sounds good, Mathalda, I'm ready to go. Just Go, oh, God. Also, I'm not even sure what they're trying to accomplish here. Like, if this happened at a Walmart, this shit happens every day regardless, so. God, I'm so grateful I don't have to work retail, man. To all of you people out there that do, bless you, but I couldn't fucking do it. I'm totally fine talking to a camera in a room that smells like my BO while standing in front of this white sheet. I love you, white sheet. Because I swear to God, if this shit would have happened while I was working there, I would have immediately gotten fired. Like, if anyone tried to give me shit about anything, I'd just be like, listen here, bitch. At this point, I'm asking you to wear a mask simply because your face is a fucking train wreck. Did your dad have sex with a shipping container? What the fuck? You look like the creature from Slither, you nasty, crusty fucker. You know, I think it's great that you're trying to record this conversation so that your two remaining Facebook friends that barely give a shit about you can marvel about how sad your life is with me. So for the last time, ma'am, get the ever-loving fuck out of my store before I dip my hand in kerosene, light it, then fist fuck a goat. Jesus Christ. Like, why is it so hard for people to just wear a goddamn mask? I mean, even in my experience. I just went to California recently to record some music with my friend. We didn't actually record any music and instead spent most of our time doing this. It's the first of the month, you know what that means. You gotta pay your fucking rent. Pay that rent, gotta pay that rent. I need backup. Oh. Even in my experience, when I went there, it seemed like everyone was pretty okay at like adhering to the mask policy. But in some cases, you just see people storm off because they were pissed off that they had to wear a mask. Or there's the people that wear a mask, but so incorrectly that it just invalidates any reason to wear one anyways. <laughs> I'm doing my part. Are you trying to be a in storm rage? The fuck you doing? It just baffles me. It's like everyone is okay with a no shirt, no shoes policy, but the second a mask is required during a fucking pandemic, people are like, ah, 
Great example, the lady that slammed into a door and started licking it just because they wouldn't let her inside to eat at a steakhouse. I think the person that recorded it had the most accurate commentary. Uh, <laughs> this fucking I am legend! That bitch <laughs> Like, there's even committees being formed of official anti-maskers that speak at public legislature hearings. You literally cannot mandate somebody to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people. How do I play a saxophone and sing with a mask on? I'll let you think about that. Where do you derive the authority to regulate human breathing? I don't wear a mask for the same reason I don't un wear underwear. Things gotta breathe. <sighs> God, this is the face that I make when watching these. Just. What emotion is that? <laughs> but in an attempt to educate people, I'd like to go now to this informative documentary about the behaviors and science of what makes a Karen a Karen. Enjoy. We're here now at the local mall where we're hoping to find the Karen in their natural habitat. Let's go. You'll probably be able to smell a Karen far before you actually see one because a Karen won't be caught dead leaving without their lavender essential oils. <laughs> you smell that? It smells like privilege. Let's go. We searched far and wide in the typical locations a Karen might frequent. Panera, JC Penney, and worst of all, nail salons. But to our dismay, found only sadness and this Cinnabon. But just as we were about to give up, fortune struck outside of an H&M. Oh my, there's one now. Whoa, whoa, we must remember not to get too close, otherwise they might call our managers. Whoa, shh, shh, shh. While she may not see us, a Karen has impeccable hearing, though rarely listens to logic. Now, a Karen will first be identified by its shrill and unmistakable war cry, which sounds thusly. There's a Karen now. As you can tell, we are communicating. Oh my god, I think he spotted us. Run, 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 run. Don't say it. Holy fuck. We almost got spotted. Thank goodness we didn't. I almost shit my pants. Well, that is it for this week's episode of Karen Watch. Here with me, your host, Grayson Alabaster. Now make sure to join me next week as we delve into the mystery and the secrets of the female orgasm. See you then. Powerful stuff. But that is it for this episode of What the Fuck News. My budget for jump cuts was wasted in the intro, so this outro is gonna be lazily edited, and every sentence or thought is gonna have about two extra seconds of awkward silence. But, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like this video, vigorously lick the door of that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to be told when I make new videos. Oh my god, stop. I don't know what's worse, too many jump cuts or this shit? Also, thank you to everyone who watched my latest video on the TMI tag where I uh, answered a bunch of really personal questions. Somehow it was not demonetized, but shh, don't tell YouTube. Also, I'll be uploading a love languages quiz here pretty soon, so make sure to watch out for that. And hey, you saucy little mama, before you go, I just recently restocked the hot liquid shirt as well as put up some new merch in my merch store that is available for a limited time only, so make sure to go check that out. Also, brought back the uh, Wowzers My Guy I'm Depressed shirt in a bunch of different colors just because, you know, 2020 made sense. This year fucking sucks. Well, guys, I'm gonna go make some more Smeagol covers, so I gotta go. That said, I will see you next time for another What the Fuck News. Thanks for watching, and fair winds.